welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Jessie, also known as Miss Cherry, and if you're already part of the Cherry Blossom family, it's so good to see you guys again. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today is a very exciting collaboration with my favorite store in the entire world, Box Lunch. Now, Box Lunch has all things pop culture, and today we happen to be celebrating one of my favorite Disney films, and one of my mom's favorite Disney films as well, Emperor's New Groove. So Box Lunch just came out with this amazing line of Emperor's New Groove apparel, and I'm so excited to be celebrating with them. And how we're gonna celebrate is today, we are making crunks, spinach puffs, and also extract of llama for like the perfect night in at your house where you can chill and watch Emperor's New Groove in your awesome new box lunch crew neck sweatshirt. <laughs> Kick back, eat some spinach puffs, drink some extract of llama, and have the best time. So right now, let's go ahead and get making some of Yzma's least favorite treats. <laughs> and make crunks of famous spinach puffs. So what you're going to need is cream cheese, garlic, oregano, salt and pepper, eggs, spinach, Parmesan cheese, feta, bacon, and some puff pastries. Now, I decided to use the puff pastry shells. You're more than welcome to use any type of puff pastry that you choose. So I have started with softened cream cheese and I'm going to add in one egg and then the spices and then I'm going to mix that very well now while this is mixing go ahead and set your oven to 400 degrees for baking once that's all mixed well you're going to want to add the remainder of the ingredients outside of that one extra egg so you're going to want to add bacon bits feta cheese Parmesan cheese and spinach. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Okay, now once this is all mixed up, we're just gonna wanna scoop into the center of the shells. Now these aren't gonna look exactly like the ones in the film, which is okay. This is all my grocery store had, so we're just working with what we have. Place some right in the center where this little center circle is. So we'll place some right here in the circle. Now these are chilled and puff pastry actually bakes best when it is chilled, so keep that in mind. So I'm gonna pop this onto here and then we're gonna put them in the oven. And then right before we put them in the oven, I'm gonna use a little bit of egg wash, which is basically just a little bit of egg, and just wash the outsides to make them very shiny. So just right along the edge of the puff pastry. And then now it's time to pop them in the oven and they are gonna go in for 21 to 24 minutes at 400. So let's get them baking. Now, while our spinach puffs are baking, we're gonna make some extract of llama. So what we're making is a pineapple pink lemonade fizz. And we're gonna add in, I, this is optional, you obviously don't have to do this, but I got some neon pink food coloring because I'm really trying to emulate like that color that you have with the llama extract, the extract of llama. So we're gonna start with a bottle of two liters of a lemon lime soda. Yzma? One large can of pineapple juice. One cup of pink lemonade powder. Ooh, bubble, bubble. <laughs> Gosh, it's beautiful. Okay, and then we're gonna add some boop. Oh gosh, that's probably you know what? I don't know how much food coloring you're supposed to add to things. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> we're fine, everything's fine. 
So while we're mixing this, what is your favorite part of Emperor's New Groove? I personally am the biggest fan of Yzma as the cat. I'm a big cat person, so anytime any character turns into a cat or is a cat just like brings me so much joy. And I also love her voice and when she recognizes that she's not herself, I think that's just super duper silly. Okay, so our coloring is not quite there. It's more of like an orange. So I think I'm gonna add more food coloring. Ooh, okay, it's not quite perfectly neon pink, but it is very beautiful. Let's give it a try. It's extract of llama. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> mm. Oh wow, that is really pineapple-y. That is a lot more pineapple-y than I expected. I expected it to be really tart lemon, but I taste pineapple more than anything. This is really good. This is really good. This is gonna pair really nicely with the uh, the spinach puffs and all of their like sharp flavors. This will be a nice, sweet complement to that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these into glasses and then I'm gonna make a little charcuterie board to accent our spinach puffs. Your Highness. Is something burning? <gasps> My spinach puffs! Whew, okay, these are very, very hot, no touchy let them cool and then I'm going to place them on our charcuterie board back behind me to get ready for our movie night. So here's a little peek at my charcuterie board that I made. I made that little bottle um, for the extract of llama from my Cricut and then I just added some goat cheese, salami, the spinach puffs are in the center, some dried mushrooms, raspberries, and olives for the perfect charcuterie board for movie night. I had so much fun with you guys today hanging out and making some delicious uh, crunk spinach puffs as well as some extract of llama. You'll have to let me know down below if you have tried these recipes and what you think of them. Everything is going to be linked in the description box down below, including the amazing new box lunch apparel from Emperor's New Groove. And that's going to do it for me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe down below and join our cherry blossom family. Pull the llama crunk!